Um, at, at this point, at 40, 40 clients you've got, sounds like you've got more than enough to keep you busy. Are you still out there looking for talent, still checking the, for queries? Well, actually, I'm close to queries. I've got um, so many clients right now that I've um, just opened via referrals. Um, uh, even that, I've really got such a full list, um, but I just can never resist something that is amazing that I, again, that I just can't resist, something that I love. Um, so unfortunately, I am close to queries right now. Um, we have other wonderful agents at the agency, but for the most part, um, they're not in the science fiction and fantasy uh, world. Um, some do the occasional science fiction and fantasy. For instance, Deidre Knight handles TJ Klune, who is just wonderful. Um, and we have, uh, you know, the other occasional um, uh, people who veer into science fiction and fantasy um, or, or horror. But um, for the most part, I am that person at the night agency. Um, however, um, you know, do me a favor, do go go look at the Night Agency website um, and see who else is open to queries because uh, it is an amazing group of agents and I really, I really love being there. Um, I love the, the synergy that we all bring to the table. We all really share information, support each other, um, support each other's authors and uh, it, it's just a really great group of people. Well, check the back catalog of esteemed audience and, and find my uh, chat with uh, Christy Hunter, uh, who's also there at the Night Agency. She's she's quite wonderful. Uh, hopefully open to, to queries. If she's not now, she hopes she will be again. That's uh, true. And I should say that we do um, science fiction and fantasy and young adults. So several of the um, of the uh, agents do science fiction and fantasy and young adult, right? Like Christy Hunter, who handles uh, Lucella Sambury, if I if I'm not mistaken. And everybody else who's there at the Night Agency, if you're hearing us and you're thinking, I want to be on this show, great, I want you to come on the show. You know, <laughs> um, what uh, I always try to ask, what is it about the Night Agency for, for uh, uh, authors who are listening and wondering who they should submit to? What makes the Night Agency the better agency? What kind of services do they offer? What can authors look forward to receiving when they, when they sign with the Night Agency? Um, first of all, I just think it's a, just an amazing bunch of people. Um, we're not competitive there, which is one of the things I like. We're really cooperative. Again, we all share information. Um, we have really great relationships with our foreign agents. We work with various film agents, whichever one is going to be the best for a project. Um, we have a social media guy who handles our, our Instagram and our newsletter and our tweets and things like that. And we all tweet for each other's authors, support each other's authors. Um, so we're all, when you get one agent, you basically get all of us um, because you get all of our, our shared um, knowledge and support. Um, and uh, I, I just think it's the best bunch of people, um, which is why it, it's our forever home. But if ever one of us needs um, information that the other has, um, we call each other up. Um, we can, you know, review each other's contracts, knowledge, hey, how have you handled this situation, anything like that, um, and we're just always happy to share, and we are on, uh, we have a server, and we're just on with each other all the time, um, giving each other background and material, so even though um, we might be spaced, for instance, I'm in, I'm in Tampa, some are in Georgia, um, Nephilim's out in California, um, we are really um, all at, at a keyboard's touch away. And so if there is a, a newer agent that maybe needs a little bit of help with negotiating or is looking at a contract and wants to make sure they're getting the best uh, terms, they're not on their own. They've got all of the other agents that they can reach out to that can be working with them. Right. Nobody's on their own. Um, and a lot, you know, a lot of our agents have come from publishing houses. So come from the position of being editors before and so have that knowledge base as well, um, which it really expands all of, um, expands the knowledge base for all of us, which is wonderful. Sure. Uh, and so, um, Oh, so many questions. I wanted to make sure I ask about a submissions coordinator because I know you guys have had one at, at different times. And what, what is a submissions coordinator and why should that not be a reason to concern if, hey, I don't want a submissions coordinator, I want to send my query directly to you? Um, we have had a submissions coordinator in the past and that is somebody who um, basically um, 
takes the submissions, um, you know, reads it first, decides whether it is, you know, good enough to send on to the agent or who should see it, that sort of thing. Um, however, um, everybody got too busy to basically um, have one person designated for that task. So now everybody handles their own queries. Um, and if they're too busy or too full up, they basically just close to queries. And so that is how we're handling things now. Um, so there's nothing wrong with having a submissions coordinator for agencies that do have it, um, because it's just a way of being able to um, deal with the huge influx of queries that they get and be able to winnow it down to a manageable um, size of queries for the agents to deal with. Um, however, the way that we um, now handle it is just that the agents are dealing with their own queries um, and um, deciding when they have time and room for new queries. Gotcha. 